Working with Tom has been one of the funnest things in my whole career. So involved in the sport of boxing. One of the smartest guys ever, and he gives it 125% every day. Gives love to his fighters. Gives you all of his time, all of his dedication. I can't think of a better trainer or a more dedicated person to the sport of boxing. Today's video, I'm gonna break down the most important punch in boxing, the best punch in boxing. And anybody that tells you any different truly doesn't know boxing. We're talking about the jab. And I'm gonna demonstrate that, and I'm gonna break it down from the ground up for you today. For you southpaws, I'm gonna be breaking it down as a right-hander, but you, the fundamentals of what I'm showing with the footwork and the way your body twists, you just reverse it. The way we're gonna start off, and I'm gonna teach you right here from the, from the ground up, is the basic stance. The basic stance is, a, is, is heel toe. Your stance should be a little bit fur, wider than shoulder length apart, okay? A little wider than shoulder length apart. Heel toe stance, that means that that heel's gonna line up with that toe, okay? With the left toe, the right heel's gonna line up with the left toe. Now, we're gonna just go over the way your body is twisting when you throw a jab. When you twist, you, your shoulder, when you start off in your stance, you want your shoulder degree to be 45 degrees to the target, okay? 45 degrees to the target, and the shoulder plane is an uphill trajectory at 45 degrees. So that means your left shoulder is higher than your right shoulder. Okay, right shoulder sunk in, left shoulder's higher. Okay, now, what you do is you take that 45 degrees to the target, just working on the twist of what you do with a jab. Okay, the twist of what you do with the jab comes from your hips and your waist. You're gonna take your shoulders from 45 to straight ahead. That shoulder's gonna point straight ahead, okay? So we're working on just doing that. So what we're gonna, now we'll add, we can add the footwork to it. I can take a step. Same time I step, I twist. And I slide the right foot up. So the left foot's gonna step. While I'm stepping with the left foot, I'm twisting. And then the right foot comes up. And I'm still in that heel toe stance. What I don't wanna do is step and let the left foot get in front of the right or slide the right back. I don't wanna step. And when I twist, a lot of times the biggest mistake people make is when they twist, they twist and bring the foot in front of the right foot. Okay, so instead of twisting and bringing the right foot in front of the right, uh, the left foot in front of the right foot, the left foot goes straight out while the body twists. So the body's going to twist, but the foot, the toes are still going to face the target. Okay, they're, they're, and the foot is not going to cross over the pathway and the heel of your of your right foot. Okay, the the opposite as well. So when I jab, I don't bring the right foot. A lot of people do that. Then though, when they're trying to twist they'll swing their back hip and they'll bring their right foot behind their left foot. So either one of those you want to avoid. So when I'm stepping, I'm going to step and twist, foot's going to go straight, right foot's going to come up, okay? It's the same movement, like I said, all these other sports. Like if I'm going to throw, if I'm going to throw a football, I'm going to step and then my right foot's going to come up because my right foot's going to come up and throw the football. So I'm going to step and throw the football. I'm going to step and throw the football. So I'm stepping and I'm bringing my right foot. In boxing, you're gonna step and you're gonna throw the right hand. And what do I do when I throw the right hand? I'm stepping and then I'm twisting and I'm turning that right toe. And I have that right foot, like I said, heel toe, so I can clear my whole hip into the right, into the, into the right hand. So now, we're gonna go move up the ladder, okay? Hand placement, hand placement. Elbows are gonna be on your rib cages, okay? You're not going to have your hands up, lifting above your rib cage or your rib cage up to bring your hands up. Like I said in boxing, if you, your hand, you got to have vision. So th this hand should be almost sho shoulder, shoulder uh, level, okay? This hand, pretty much shoulder level, and you're going to bring it in here. But the jab hand, you can have it a little bit higher, but if you need to, if you need to block, you're going to go down. See, you just go down a little bit and twist. So that hand's here. It's not up here. So I'm going to throw that jab from a basically shoulder level. A little higher at most, okay? So now, when I do with that jab, is I do, I, I, ex, I let my arm and my fist be an extension of what I'm doing with my body. So I'm twisting this way, I'm twisting this way, but my hand isn't gonna go this way, my hand's gonna go straight out. So my, 
my body is twisting west to east, okay? I'm going, I'm going left to right with my twist, but my twist, my foot is going to stay straight ahead. While my, it's going to go in the same direction as the fist. Common mistakes that people make is when they, with the foot, okay? When they throw the jab and they twist the jab, like I said, they step in front. They step in front of the right foot or they turn the foot, okay? Now, when you turn that foot, your, your feet are going, your toes are going one way, you're facing, it's facing one way, the angle one way, your fist is going the other way. You want your fist and your toes to face the target. So you want them going in the same direction. When you synchronize that together, you have more momentum. When you have more momentum, you have power. You're in rhythm. You're going to make, be able to make transitions in boxing quicker. For example, if I turn that foot, now I want to take a step. I got to put the foot back on the floor. I can't, I, every time if I keep on stepping, when I throw that jab, if I step and turn that foot, then I got to put the foot back on the floor to step again. If I keep it straight ahead, I'm able to use that foot and step right to my target and I'm going to have rhythm and momentum. My, my fist is the same angle as where my toes are going. If I throw a left hook, I can rotate on that hook. Now the toes are going that way because the angle of the fist is going that way. When I throw the jab, the fist is going that way, so my toes are going that way, even though my body is twisting. The other reason for that, okay, is when you twist, and you keep that foot straight ahead, what that does is that puts tension on that hip. So what it does is it's like, it's like a rubber band. You're pulling the rubber band, then when you get to throw the, when you throw the right hand, the right hand gonna, is, is gonna come with more velocity and more spring because your body has that resistance on that left side. Okay, so when you throw the right hand, this, this side not only is this right hand coming forward, the left hand is going, it has tension it's going to pull back. And that's the key to punches too. So every punch, one punch goes, the other punch tucks and pulls. So it's, it's, always, it's always one going out, one's pulling back, okay? Now, when you throw the jab, the other reason for the twist, when you twist the jab, is that you're crossing over the pathway of the right hand. So when you cross over the pathway of the right hand, the guy doesn't see the right hand being released it, he doesn't see it until it hits him. So it's the punch you don't see that knocks you out. So when you, when you cross that jab over, over the pathway of the right hand, he's not going to see that right hand until it's on his chin. Okay? So when you throw that jab, you're twisting, and you're crossing over the pathway. The other thing that you're doing when you throw the jab, okay, elbows, like I said, elbows in. When I throw that jab, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that jab. When I throw that jab, I wanna tuck my chin into my, sh underneath my shoulder. Not into my shoulder. I got something, a lot of guys will go this way. That's, you don't want that. You want to take your chin away from the power of the counter shot, which could be a right hand, okay, over the top. If a guy throws a left hook, he's got a lot longer to get there. So you're, you're worried about the closest shot to hit you is either a jab or a right hand. So you're taking your chin and you're taking one eye, so you want your left eye down the barrel of the gun, what I always like to call the barrel of the gun, which is these two knuckles, okay? You want that left eye going down the barrel of the gun. Now what that does is if I throw that jab like that, even if I tuck my chin, okay, I'm not gonna get as much distance as if I take my chin, and now I just put three or four more inches on my jab as well, from here to here, okay? Where my chin goes, it makes my hip twist, it makes my body go too, so, and it makes my shoulder go. I'm gonna be able to release, I'm gonna be able to get those extra inches into my jab because I'm gonna, I'm gonna release the shoulder joint into the jab, okay? Because I'm going one eye down, down the barrel of the gun. It's just like when I throw the right hand, I would bring the right hand and I, I will tuck the left, I will pull the left back, and I will throw the right, the right eye down the barrel of the gun, okay? So it's left eye, right eye. But today we're just covering the jab. So that, the, all those things are, are huge details there, okay? They're very fine details that you want to be able to master when you're working this jab. So when you throw the jab, to move it, to footwork with it, okay? So when I throw a jab, I, I can, I want to step with the left foot, twist, one eye, and then my right foot's going to come up. So I take a step, and then the right foot comes up. 
I take a step with the left foot, right foot comes up. Okay? Now, if I was to throw a one-two, I wouldn't come up and then throw the right hand. I would take a step with the left, and then I would, I, as I bring the right foot to throw the right hand, I'm twisting at the same time. Okay, but right now we're working on the jab, so we're talking about jab, right foot comes up. If I jab backwards, if I jab backwards, I'm going to take this foot back, I'm going to take this foot back first, jab back, and then the left foot comes with it. So this foot's going to step while I'm twisting, I'm twisting my weight back to that back foot, twisting my weight back to the back foot, and then my left comes with it. Okay? Now, if I want to move to the left, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take my left foot first. When I jab, I'm going to twist. At the same time I'm moving left, I'm twisting. And, I'm, and when I twist, I'm bringing that right foot. Like I said, the big mistake that people do is bringing that right foot back too far behind the left. So when I move to the left, when I move to the left, even when they're moving forward, they move it sometimes. They'll push it. They're trying to go straight ahead, and they take that right foot behind the, behind the left foot. We, you don't want to do that. So when you move to the left, you're going to move left. The same time you're moving left, left foot goes, body twists. When the body's twisting, then the right foot comes. When the body's twisting, so the left foot's going to go, and then the right foot's going to go. It's not going to go all the way behind the left foot. It's going to be short steps. So in other words, if I, go, if I go four or five inches with this left foot while I'm twisting, then it's going to go four, I'm going to go four or five inches with my right foot. So I'm here. I'm going left. So when I go right, I'm going to go with the right foot first. So I'm twisting to the right foot while I'm taking it four inches that way, and then my left foot comes up, gets back in that heel-toe stance. I don't want to throw, jab to the right foot like this and bring my left foot all the way in front, in front of the right foot. I want to stop it. Like I said, I'm going four or five inches with my right foot this way. While I'm jabbing, I'm twisting, and my foot's stepping at the same time. Now when I step, then the left foot comes. So we talked about moving forward with the jab, moving backwards, moving left, moving right. Let's talk about moving to the left in a circle and moving to the right in a circle pathway, okay? So when I take that, when I jab in a circle, I'm going to rotate my body. It's the same kind of thing. I'm taking a step, I'm taking a step, and then I'm, and then I'm twisting, and then I'm sliding this right foot, and I'm making an angle. I'm making an angle. So when I take this foot, I'm going to be circling. But what I'm doing is I'm not, when I take that circle, I'm not going to bring this foot all the way back now behind the left foot again. Like I said, you constantly want to keep that heel-toe stance. So I, I got my stance like this. When I, start, when I want to angle around a guy, I'm going to angle around a guy like this. Left, foot, left foot's going to step in, in and over, and then my right foot's going to come and keep myself being in the heel-toe stance. Okay, so my left foot's stepping over, over and I'm twisting and then the right foot sliding, sliding back a little bit more. As I keep the going, this is what I'm going to be looking like. See, I'm going here. And like I said, if you watch real close, my shoulder, my shoulder trajectory is, is 45 degrees as well, an uphill trajectory. The mistakes that you don't want to make with, with, when you're throwing a jab is, when you throw a jab, you want to have that, like I said, this left shoulder is higher than the right shoulder. So you don't want to you throw a jab, you don't want to, mistakes that people make is they push the jab. The, the jab is a twist. The jab is not a push. Okay, so I don't want to be in this uphill trajectory and push and be now, now I'm in a downhill trajectory. Okay, I'm in a downhill trajectory. So I want to keep that trajectory while I jab, I'm still in that, up, I'm still in that uphill trajectory. Wherever I'm going to go, I got it. Okay, when I circle, I do the same thing. Okay, so when I, when, I move, when I move left, I don't start leaning like this. Now, you guys do it all the time, but they have a strong foundation to be able to pull themselves, and they're doing it for reasons to, of a ploy to set something up. What we're talking about is the ground, bottom of the ground fundamentals that you need to learn before you explore any of those avenues. Okay, so when you're stepping around a guy, the uphill trajectory stays, and you're jabbing, and you're circling, okay? That jab's in a circle, and I'm, this is my footwork. I'm stepping and I'm twisting. And my foot never goes where I'm all up. Now my feet are behind one another. My right foot's behind my left foot. I don't want that, okay? When I go to the circle to the left, I'm moving like that. Uphill trajectory. When I move to the right, right foot's going to move first. 
So I'm twisting to my right foot and then I'm sliding my left foot. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The other way, it's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. When I'm going forward, it's like this. I'm not pushing my weight to my left foot. That foot doesn't come off the ground. You push off the balls of your feet and then you plant both feet. Left foot's gonna go, this foot's gonna, this foot's gonna plant right with it. So you have that foot planted to throw a strong right hand, just like throwing a football. I step, I step, and I throw the football. When I step, that foot's flat on the ground on the right, and now I twist and throw the, and throw the football, right? So when I throw the jab, that foot's flat, and then I twist it. I'm not going to throw the jab and get on the balls of my feet, get on the ball of my foot with my right foot. Now I'm pushing all my weight to my left foot, and I'm leaning. I got my left foot. I got my head past my knee. You never want your head past your knee in boxing. You want your head just over center of mass, which means that, not right there in the middle, but a little bit, like I said, because you have that shoulder trajectory, you want that left shoulder higher than the right shoulder, you're gonna have your, right, your head a little bit further than center line there. It's gonna be a little bit more to the right, okay? So when you throw that jab, it stays there. It stays there. It doesn't come over and go, your knee, your knee doesn't, your head doesn't go past your knee, your head doesn't go to the left. Doesn't go to the left. If it goes to the left, then you're never gonna have anything on the right hand. Plus, if you push a jab, now you're not hiding the right hand. You're not hiding the right hand. When you twist, now you can't see my right hand. One eye down the barrel of the gun, crosses, the, crosses over the pathway of the right hand when you do it that way, and you twist, okay? Those are the fine details, like I said, that you gotta work on when you go into the gym to develop a great jab. I'm gonna have an instructional videos coming out in September where I'm gonna cover all the jabs. There's like seven different jabs. I'm gonna go over how you can change speeds with the jab, the different angles you can throw with the jab, different angles you can throw the jab, and I'm gonna show you why you use each jab. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you an example, some examples of my professional boxer, Keontae Irving, throwing the jab. So we're gonna demonstrate the basic jab and the details that I was just talking about. So if you watch Keontae, he's got his trajectory of his shoulder plane. If you see this, it's his shoulder, his shoulder to the target's 45, his shoulder trajectory is in an uphill trajectory, pretty much at 45 as well. So when he throws the basic jab, he's gonna step with that left foot, the toes are gonna, to, his foot's gonna be flat on the floor, he's not gonna rotate on the ball of his foot, he's gonna step, his fist is gonna be in the same direction as his toes. When he jabs, he steps, he throws that jab, and then he brings the right foot up. So watch it again, he jabs, that's it. He, and when he jabs, you see the twist in his hips. That's it. He jabs, jabs, the twist in his hips. That's it. Now, if you watch, he's got that shoulder, He's going to be going into that chin. See, he's going to go one eye down the barrel of the gun. So his chin's going to go away, away, from, away from the oncoming punch. And his, eye, his left eye is going to be down the barrel, that, his, his big knuckles, basically, is what the barrel of the gun is, okay? So he's going to throw the jab. That's it. See, and if you see his shoulder plane, shoulder plane's right here. Look at all the protection he has for the oncoming right hand. The guy would try to counter over the top. He's blocking most of that. He's very far away. He's taking his chin away from the target, away from the, away from the oncoming counter punch, okay? So there it is, a jab. That's it. Jab and twist. That's it. And he twists as you watch his hips twist. So when he goes, he's at 45 right here. When he's done throwing that jab, when he's done throwing that jab, this. Is almost, his shoulder's completely pointed to me. So he's getting that twist. He's going from 45 and he's twisting it. Now he's completely pointed to the target, okay? So, so now if he was to step back with that jab, he's gonna step back with the right foot. He's gonna jab back to that right foot and then the left foot's gonna slide back. So if he's jabbing backwards, that's it. Jabbing backwards, good. And if you notice, he never lets his head get past that knee. He doesn't lean anything. Everything is just a twist. Nothing's going north and nothing's going south. He's just rotating. He's just twisting right there. When he steps, he brings everything with him and it's all a twist to get there. Beautiful, keep it right there. 
Do it again. Beautiful. Now look at all that. See, very hard. So he could turn that right into a shoulder roll from right there because the shoulder's already there. Okay? So now, if he's moving to the left, if he moves to the left, left foot's going to move first. Left foot's going to move first. If he goes to the right, right foot's going to move first. Then left. Right, then left. At the same time, he's twisting. But when he twists, he doesn't let that right foot get behind the left foot. He keeps that right. He keeps that heel toe stance. He does not do that. He's going to step left, then the right comes. Left, then the right comes. Beautiful. Okay, now going back to the right. Right foot's going to move first. He twists it back to the right foot. Now he goes left again. Now he goes right again. Left. Look at the twist in his hips. Go to the right. Good. Okay. So now if he was to do this, if he was to circle his opponent, he's going to do what I was talking about. He's still not going to let those feet, that right foot get behind that left. He's going to take, when he moves to the left, he's going to move with his left and he's going to circle and he's going to start rotating and turning his body and angling his body to create that circle so he could circle and jab, jab around his opponent. Okay. So he's going left. Good. Now if he used to go to the right, the right foot's going to move first. And he's angling. He's going in a circle. Good. Good. Now if he was to do it faster, he's doing everything that he's doing right there just a little faster. Okay? So he's just doing a little faster and he, he could do it where he could bring the jab all the way back. He could bring it where he doesn't bring the jab all the way back. These are the things that I'll be going over in my instructional. I will be going over about seven different jabs that we use how to change speeds with the jab, and why you change speeds with the jab, and why you throw the different jabs from the different angles. So we'll just give you a little just a short demonstration. If he's moving to this, this circle, he could jab faster, and he could just... So every, every jab he did, there was a little step, and he stepped. All right, so go fast, go ahead. That's it, beautiful, do it again. Again. And if he goes to the right, same thing. Good. See, so he's right, circling to the right. Circle to the left. Circle to the right. That's it. Circle to the left. Circle to the right. Look at his twist while he's turning. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So if he throws some hard jabs, he could twist that jab in there hard. Put that jab, and the power behind that jab. That jab's like a right hand. Yeah, beautiful. That left hand has a lot of twist and torque on it, more than people realize. Like I said, a lot of people are just pushing their jab. He's twisting that jab, not quite like a right hand because his right hand's back here, so he's got to turn, he's tur turning his whole torso over, and he's got a further distance to travel, so he's picking up a little bit more velocity. But he's twisting his core almost the same, okay? He's taking his self from 45 to zero. Here, you're from 45 to even this way, here you're 45 to even this way. So he, you're, you got torque on that jab to put power and to hurt somebody with that jab when you throw it properly. See, that's a great jab. I mean, he has a great jab and he can throw power from all angles with that jab. But, um, so like I said, if you go in the gym and you practice these fine details, You'll have, you'll have a great jab. I mean, the key is, is like I said, when he's throwing and he's twisting on that jab, one little fine, little fine detail is when he's twisting on that jab, he doesn't want to bring that left foot in front of him. He's twisting and he's keeping those toes facing the target. So if he was to do it wrong and he's turning that foot, he, that's not what he wants to do, okay? You don't want to do that, okay? Or you don't want to do this with the back foot. Like he wouldn't want to do that, see? He wouldn't want to do that. He wants to keep that heel toe stance He's just going to step into that jab. When he steps into that jab, he could step with that jab like that and keep that foot on the floor and then bring it right back into place. Or he could step and he wants to get a little closer, then he's going to bring the right foot up. So we can, we can show you both ways. He could just step into the jab and then bring it back. Step into the jab, bring it back. Step into the jab. Beautiful. Or now he could step with both feet, see? He's going to throw the jab and then the right foot's going to come up. Now he's getting closer. Beautiful. 
Okay, so he's stepping, he's gonna get closer this time. Good. Now the other thing he can do is he don't even gotta move. He could just use that twist. So he could just be there and that jab could just twist right from there without, without any kind of step because he's using that twist in his core. So that's the technique of the jab. So go into the gym, practice these fine details. Start off with the footwork first that I broke down for you. Practice that footwork. So then rewind the video and then start to put it and implement the upper body work that we're doing and the proper technique. So you need to watch these videos a few times so you can break them down and slowly watch how, how we do the footwork and then put the upper body in, into action as well. And it takes repetition. It's not gonna happen overnight. So go into the gym, practice those things. Give me some comments on the video and let me know how you're doing in the gym.